Literally every week now, the Democrats are coming up with crazier and crazier promises and proposals, hoping to gain the support of younger voters, like a $15 minimum wage and free college and reparations. And now, Nancy Pelosi wants to lower the voting age to 16. I myself have always been for lowering the, vote, the voting age to 16. I think it's really important to capture kids when they're in high school, when they're interested in all of this, when they're learning about government to be able to vote. That is, that is not necessary. You know, in other words, some of the priorities in this bill are about uh, transparency and openness and accessibility and the rest. Uh, that's a subject of debate. But my view is that uh, I would welcome that. But I've been in that position for a long time. Nancy knows that children are gullible and will believe anything, including that Santa Claus teleports magically down their chimney with a sack of toys every Christmas morning. Not only do they want to indoctrinate the kids into liberalism with their government schools and force them to learn about LGBT History Month, now they want them to vote for them. Last week, a global network of community organizing groups convinced an estimated one million students to skip school and go outside and march for new laws about climate change as part of what they called the climate strike. Of course, Little Miss Mawis was at the center of it and tweeted out that she was so proud of the New York City youth taking their future into their own hands with the climate strike. Young people around the world are beginning to launch climate walkouts to pressure their governments into acting on a real climate change plan for their lifetimes. You probably saw a few weeks ago activists used a group of middle schoolers and high schoolers who probably don't even know their state capital to confront Senator Dianne Feinstein about why she wouldn't support the Green New Deal. This is exactly how Mao Zedong sparked the communist revolution in China by convincing the young and uneducated to rise up against landlords, business owners, and people who read books. What the Democrats are trying to do reminds me of an old movie I saw when I was back in college, which was actually old when I saw it, called Wild in the Streets. I don't know if you've seen it. It came out in 1968, and I won't give it away, but a large part of it is about a senator who wants the support of a rock band to help get out the youth vote, and in exchange, he agrees to issue a bill to lower the voting age to 15. Once they successfully lower the voting age to 15, let's just say that things don't work out very well for the country. And it's not just a pipe dream because they're actually trying to do it. Legislators in Oregon have proposed to change the state's constitution to lower the voting age from 18 to 16. Oh, that's nothing. Democrat Representative Ayanna Pressley out of Massachusetts has proposed a bill to lower the voting age to 16 across the entire country. Of course, the liberal media just loves this idea. Let the 16-year-olds who are marching for the planet vote to save it. At this point, I'm almost in favor of raising the voting age to 21. If you're not responsible enough to drink alcohol, I certainly don't think you're responsible enough to decide who's going to be running the country. And while we're at it, we might as well raise the minimum age for somebody to use social media to 21 as well. This is like idiocracy meets wild in the streets. I don't know if wild in the streets is on Netflix, but if it's not, I just checked on YouTube and the whole thing is available here. And speaking of old movies and the words of the great Howard Beale from Network, this is mass madness, you maniacs. If you guys enjoy watching my videos, go to my online store, markdice.com, and check out some of my awesome shirts, like the new MAGA Country shirt, available on a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie. Click the link in the description below, it'll take you over to the store, or head on over to markdice.com and check them out. Like all of my designs, it's available on a t-shirt, long sleeve hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. <laughs>